Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about something that has actually been requested to me way more than generally things like this are. And it's of course going to be the crisis of the lag bots that are currently circulating in Team Fortress 2. Now, I haven't really been playing TF2 too much recently. However, I received this Steam message that reads as follows. Dear Joe, can you make a video about the current lag bot and aimbot crisis in TF2 please? It's a big issue and you're the only person I know that could get the message across to people of TF2 and possibly even Valve. I love this game too much for it to die. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just queue up for a casual match. One of two things will happen. You might be able to join. When you do join a game, a lag bot will join and flood the server. It's a terrible thing and I thought you should know. XD. We'll send proof if needed. And aside from this message, I've seen countless tweets in the sort of TF2 community essentially describing exactly this, that the lag bot crisis is in pretty much every game and that Valve need to do something as the game is literally in an unplayable state if you use casual matchmaking. So I decided to give it a go. Myself and Doomsday EXE went into three casual matches to see exactly how it would play out. Here's what happened. Just before we get into the video, guys, I'm super close to 100,000 subscribers. I'm literally less than about 700 subs away. It's all mad. I have a stat on my dashboard that shows around 60% of you guys aren't subscribed. So if that is you and you do enjoy the content, do feel free to subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So unfortunately, my shadow play wasn't recording my mic for whatever reason. But as you can see here, first game, I see someone on our team who's pretty obviously cheating, playing as the sniper, right? I go into the chat, he's doing that like spamming spacebar stuff. So it's pretty obvious there's something dodgy going on here. So I think to myself, all right, bet, I'll just vote kick him from the game. So there's no cheater in the game. And suddenly the server crashes. No one is able to move anymore. And you can see in the top right, there's the red text saying that the connection to the server has been lost. So that's one game, one disconnect. Game number two now, and we made it through the warm-up. No cheaters initially spotted. Everything seemed to be fine, but as you can see, as the initial screen comes away, suddenly red text pops up. We didn't even make it into the first round of the game. That's two games now and two disconnects. This one before the game even got to start. And in this final game, we actually made it a whopping two minutes in. However, we noticed that someone no, was cheating, crushed. and upon calling them out and asking them to be kicked, as you can see, the server crashes. This is fantastic. So, uh, yeah. <sighs> It's safe to say there's a pretty big issue here, Valve. You're just gonna have to take my word for it that that was quite literally three for three. I didn't bother trying to find any games after that, and I understand it's quite a small sample size, but I think the fact the community is making such an uproar about this goes to show that it's a pretty serious issue. I mean, think about it. It entirely rules out an entire game mode and the main playable game mode of Team Fortress 2. Once you take away casual, you have competitive, which, I mean, there must be about 12 people in the pool. And you also have community servers as well. But I just feel like most people would much rather play casual and not be bullied off of it by people lag botting and crashing the servers, right? I mean, let's face it, Team Fortress 2's matchmaking has been in a decline for a while now. I mean, we had the initial hacker sort of invasion where most games would either be filled with an aimbotting sniper or multiple bots that you couldn't kick because they'd kick you. Uh, it's just not been in a great state. And just as all of this sort of started to die down, this happens. A new wave of just absolute madness hits Team Fortress 2 casual. And I just, I don't know where we can go from here, man. I mean, let's face it. The main thing keeping Team Fortress 2 going right now is the community. I think that's something that most people can at least acknowledge, right? We've got artists, content creators, streamers, just people playing the game and engaging in the community. K keep this game alive, but there's only so much we can do. This is completely out of our hands, and this is where Valve need to step in. Like, as great as the TF2 community is, and the amount of incredible things we accomplish, we can't stop people from cheating. We can't stop people from kicking the servers offline, and this is where Valve have to step up and take some responsibility. I mean, they've left this game in a decline for years now, and now is the time to step in because the game is quite literally unplayable. It's not even like we can kick the cheaters because as soon as you start a vote kick, the server gets instantly crashed. Like, we're really stuck between a rock and a hard place right now. 
Now I understand that on Valve's behalf it might be a pretty difficult problem to fix, I mean it's on a mass scale, there's hundreds and hundreds of bots flooding servers all over the world, and if they're not even able to stop normal cheaters that we've been experiencing for months on end, then how are they going to stop the next thing up from this? So I put out this tweet, essentially saying the following. What's the situation with the lag bots in TF2 right now, and what do you think Valve can do to fix the issue? So I'm just going to be reading through a few of the replies that you guys sent in and just sort of discussing them. So although the community can't literally do something, we can do our best to assist Valve in giving them some ideas on just how they can combat this. So the first response was from Blaze, it said, It's weird, I see tons of people talking about how many there are, but I guess I'm just lucky, because I played like 20 something matches and only encounter one or two. An update to VAC, a huge ban wave or restrictions on IP packets or something. Anything to prevent at least crashes from happening. And the reason I like this response from Blaze so much is that it really does summarise that the main issue here is we need to prevent these crashes. Before we receive any content to the game, these crashes are the main issue and an update to VAC is something we've discussed on the channel many a time and it definitely needs to happen now more than ever. If Valve Anti-Cheat can prevent not only the cheaters but the server crashes as well, that's two birds with one stone. And I mean, what's the point in getting a heavy update, or any content update for that matter, if we're literally not able to play the game? This needs to come before anything else. This next one coming in from Orna said, Restrict how many packets an IP can send, and this was obviously mentioned in the last one as well, and I'm not going to pretend I know a load about what this is, but uh, what I'm assuming is, essentially the way a server is crashed is the client side computer sending loads and loads of packets through super quick uh, to the server which then results in a crash that's essentially how a DDoS works right so if you restrict the amount of packets a client can send that should theoretically work however I feel like because these cheaters seem to find a way around everything they're just split into multiple bots and use like four or five users to crash the server as opposed to one so I feel like that would work but if a cheater is truly dedicated to you know crashing servers and causing all sorts of mischief then there will be ways around it but it would definitely slow the process down for sure up next we had a pretty interesting tweet that said I played 12 games and there were bots in every game Valve should start hardware level bans on the lag bots. And hardware bans wouldn't exactly be a new thing to Valve. Obviously, we had IP bans and things in the past as well. But I feel like hardware bans would definitely eradicate the problem to an extent. It's logical to just think they can do IP bans, but it gets a lot more complicated than that when you take things like VPNs into account. For example, let's say everyone that's got bots running is using a VPN. That means loads of bots are coming from the same IPs as other people that are using that VPN. So that means loads of innocent people will get banned just for the simple fact they happen to be using a VPN connected to the same hotspot as the bots. So IP bans are a lot riskier and could result in some big backlash. Flash. This one from Impulse was really interesting. It says, introduce a trust factor from CSGO. People who haven't set up a community profile shouldn't be in a match with people that have 800 hours in game. My only flaw with this is that that feature is enabled for CSGO, but as far as I'm aware, I could be wrong about this, but the trust factor only really comes into play in competitive. I just did some quick reading up on it and apparently things like prime matchmaking and trust factor doesn't affect casual in the slightest. So they only have prime matchmaking and trust factor enabled for competitive and if that was implemented into Team Fortress 2 I mean well it wouldn't be any use because no one plays competitive. However if they implemented it into casual that could be big. I mean the trust factor is literally tried and tested by Valve themselves like you just got to think to yourself this is something they're so familiar with and it strikes me as so bizarre that they've kept it exclusive to Counter-Strike when Team Fortress 2 has been suffering for well a good few years now. I think prime matchmaking is a great idea as well because this is something in CSGO that essentially requires people to have a linked phone to their Steam account and if people are running loads of bots individually the chances are they don't have loads of phones to go with those accounts and if those accounts get banned then they're not going to be able to get another phone to link to the account right because the phone associated with that account will be banned. So I feel like introducing something like trust factor or prime matchmaking would be such a simple fix 
or uh, it wouldn't necessarily eradicate the bots, but it would reduce the amount of legitimate players that are affected by them. But guys, that is just about it for this video. That's just my sort of thoughts on the subject. If you did enjoy or have any thoughts at all, let me know down below in the comments. And if you want to see more videos like this and general gaming content, then do be sure to subscribe. Thanks again very much for watching, guys, and peace. Next, then I'm out. I wanna die too, said I don't like you. I'm reading text, making a stupid shit I might do. Don't wanna fight you, you're always right too. When my day's dark, I think of you until my sky's blue. I know I messed up, I'm feeling fed up. I think of what we could have had to start to get.